Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Tosi, and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. You guys can see right here, we're getting a new banner again. Uh, CG Lid is coming to the global side. Now, you guys can see right here again, as I say so. Uh, you draw 11, and you're guaranteed the four star unit plus a free ticket, which is pretty good. I mean, whatever, it's still something free that they're giving you. Uh, at the end of that uh, summon, which is not bad at all. So you guys, bam, bam, bam. CG lid, MP204. Uh, nice overall stats. Nothing crazy, but you know what? Job airship tech. And we, we've, we've been waiting for her. She was supposed to be here last week. But they decided to drop Sephiroth and Lila on us, which uh, I don't mind. I seriously don't mind that they did that before. Uh, which is great. So now we get this girl... She's the 5 star unit going into 6 star. Uh, you guys can see Trust Master Reward in, in Vigo, in Vigo Raider. Man, I'm having a hard time with these words. Make those trust names easier for me to pronounce, please. Uh, Defense Tlen MP35 enables Energy Circulator. Basically what it does, uh, restores HP and MP and fills LB gauge every turn during battle. Uh, Personally, I think this would be something good for a tank, especially that some tanks don't have MP recovery. So that would be that would be actually pretty good. Then she has featured abilities: attack, absorb, reduce attack for one enemy, and boost on attack. Bore up, boost LB gauge fill rate. Genius mechanic: boost HP and attack when equipped with a hammer. Nice, 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 nice. Can't wait to see her in action. Then we got Killian, uh, the four star going into the six star. Really strong uh, TM guys, 130 at Axe with Fire Element attached to it. Then he has featured abilities, Igni, Igni, Ignitor, Ignitor, Ignitor. Anyways, uh, boost own attack, add Fire Element to own physical attack and it enables transmission for one turn. Then he has true double end, basically boost attack when um, single wielding a weapon in both ends. Uh, single wielding, when a single weapon is equipped in both hands so basically the big axe or something like that then he has flash over damage and reduce fire resistance for one enemy then we get um, these guys uh, these guys why Ulrika and Eltich why are they back and why are they giving them a six star I don't know uh, they're old units I seriously not a big fan of why they're bringing them back they could have brought one back and maybe give another three star into the banner but whatever there they are Ulrika going into six star and Eltich going into six star maybe they'll be good maybe they'll be good I don't know I'm gonna wait for the data mine basically to come out and uh, see their stats and maybe we'll talk about them after that after that uh, we got one more thing the phantom blueprint so basically with the new CG unit comes a new story event. Uh, you guys can see we're going to be able to farm some Chris and we're going to get some uh, rewards from the story event and we're going to talk about them right now. Uh, Killian Scarf, attack 20, fire resistance 10%, enables double hand technique when equipped. Uh, basically gives you that extra 50% boost to attack when uh, you do double hand. Now I wonder if you can stack it with the regular double hand. This is something we're going to be able to see uh, once again once all the data mine comes out on in the game. Then he has Axe Professional boost attacks uh, when equipped with an axe. This is actually really good. I don't know if it's going to be something like 50 or 30%. Wouldn't surprise me if, if it's more like 30% boost to attack when equipped with an axe. But nonetheless, still pretty good. Still pretty good. And you know, you're going to be able to spend your energy on getting some more Chris because God knows they're going to be so expensive, those Ability Awakenings, when they come out even even more in the future. Because I'm liking a lot of Chris after all these units that we've had in the past two months. Uh, one more thing. Then, we're going to have the unit intro, which is really fun that they put because it's free. for two. Uh, it's two free tickets and 100 Lapis for free. All you have to do is just complete the quest. Once you complete it, uh, you get your summon ticket and 100 Lapis. You use a limit burst during that fight. You get a ticket. Use Sunlight Beam, three mini burst spots, and use Rubber Hammer. You get a win Mega Crist. 
that's always good. It's free. Uh, it's really fun. I like it. Keep giving us free stuff. Everybody loves free stuff in here. Uh, next one. <clears throat> one thing I really want to talk about that it's really good that they're bringing back again. The Fountain of Lapis, guys. Uh, really cheap. It's basically 10 bucks, uh, depending on where you live and everything. For $10... The first day you buy that bundle, you get 300 Lapis plus your 175. And after that, every single day for the next 30 days, you get 175 Lapis. For a grand total of like something like 5,000 or 5,500 5, Lapis or something like that. For a grand total of $10. Which is really cheap. Uh, I'm really happy that they're bringing this back. It's really good. Uh, just build up that Lapis a little bit easier. It's not expensive. Uh, yeah, you're getting your lapis at the end of 30 days, but you know what? It's still really good. It's 5,000 lapis for 10 bucks. Why not? Why not? I'm really happy that they're bringing this back because it's a sweet, 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 sweet deal. Boom! That's it with the news. Uh, new units to awaken, whatever. <laughs> Eltich and Elrika. We're not going to talk about them because we want to focus our energy on this girl. This Friday, I'm gonna post a video. I'm gonna try pulling for her. I have some tickets, you know, just waiting there for her. Uh, hopefully, CG Nicole will come the week after. But you know what? We're gonna try pulling for this girl. I'm not gonna go crazy. Maybe 10, 15 tickets, big max. And then we're gonna keep the rest for CG Nicole. You know what? Because last week, we got a lot of luck on our video. Let's see if we can still be lucky. We're gonna go right here. We have 27 tickets. And we have the build up music. Um, we're gonna go 4 star guaranteed. We're gonna see if we can be lucky. If we are, I'm sorry guys for you watching. Yellow. Is it gonna be a Schilt again? If it's Schilt again, I'm gonna be stacked with him. Is it Schilt? Yep. Schilt again. Doesn't matter, I won that TM, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Guys, please, as always, if you're new to the channel and you find the video interesting, sub and uh, leave a like. And let's, uh, let's try to reach, what, maybe 20 likes on this video? Just for fun, just for the fun of it, for Schilt. And uh, I'll catch you guys Friday for a summoning video and hopefully you guys will be as lucky as I am trying to pull for uh, Lid or if you don't have Sephiroth or Leela yet I'm gonna transfer my energy to you guys and hopefully you guys can get it guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys next time peace